So, boss wanted target spots, right? Mm. Uh, we'll see. Target spots that aren't axe road or archery and doesn't involve a rifle. So, got a bamboo cane, put a metal tip, stole some collections, paint roller, re notch in the back, five yards. Maybe 10 yards is better. I want something that's easy enough to pick up that a random person could get at least a shot on in within a 15 minute window. Never let the glue dry. Can I one more? Not very good yet. I want to see if it's easy enough to get decent enough in a short enough amount of time. Because if you can't get it on the target in 15 minutes, no one's going to enjoy it. What? The blue light's stuck in. Put the blue again, we stick it. And we lost the flexion. I'm down to one feather now. Field and try it, see what it does out there. See if my range is wrong. Hmm, maybe I should plug you more up away. Oh, no. I'll put you on. I'll put you on the other bench. Uh, I have to hold you up here, is that better? I'm going to put you on this bench here. I'm going to try and throw it in the field and we can watch how it flies. See, maybe if I was standing in the wrong place. I'm just going to launch it in that direction. I don't know, maybe it needs more, more fletching on the back. Two of them fell off, so there's only one left. Uh, or maybe it needs more weight up front. There's only a wee, wee steel tip there. But try another one. Seems to tip up and then fly sideways. Yeah, same again. Now I'm thinking it's tipping up because when I throw it, I'm finishing the throw by tipping the, the arrow down. So if I change the way I throw, more of a lob. I'm going to try and not follow through as much. Try not to follow through and try and release it at a height. Not to change the change notch a bit, I think there's a bit of mop in there. Right, I'll try this. Oh, that worked better. <laughs> clean out the, uh, clean out the notch at the back. Well, hit this notch a bit deeper. Take that there. 
we'll try again. Don't overthrow it. I should have made more of these so I don't have to run up there every time but I suppose we know it's not the difference in the arrows or anything. Right, depends on but don't overthrow it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's dead easy to cope to. Just to help you not to overthrow it. Right, let's see what it's like on the archery range. <laughs> See a bull's eye going here. Try five meters. It's too close. I'll try whatever it's seven meters. But don't overthrow it. Oh, Third time lucky, get it in the in the yellow, in the target there, in the gold. Come on. Definitely works, though, eh? A bit more practice. It's definitely taking the last 50 minutes. Oh, this goes right. Oh. I throw it more like an axe. Aim with the elbow. Oh. Ah. Not far from them, so I can either have the power or the accuracy. How do I fix that? Coming off because of the technique. Hopefully, it will show in the video. But coming off because of the technique, or is it coming off because this isn't how it should be? No, wait a minute. I we'll go back to the old technique and see if it stays on. Yes, it does. Right, so something wrong with my throwing. The axe throw is not the way to do it. I don't like not having a flash of that either. They all look smart anyway. The tips come out. Oh, well, that won't help. Well, it's like we're going to find out the tip. That's the problem, is the tips come out so the weight's all changed. Need to get a new tip. Right, so we've made some modifications. Uh, I stole three more fletchings, glued them on. Uh, I've also taped up the ends to try and reinforce a bit because the glue isn't really dry. Um, and also, I got another tip, stole that too from Skypark. Um, Glued that in, and then again reinforced it with a bit of tape because we all know how strong interlaced tape is. It's the strongest thing in the world. Uh, but hopefully that will keep the end from splitting again. It should give us more time, more practice shots. And hopefully this time we get a uh, get something to stick in the in the target we want. So I will set you up. Sort of. Uh, So that was probably 10, oh, all the throws are on camera so that's that was, 10 throws to get it to stick in, 
which I think is probably easy enough to get okay enough at that somebody would enjoy it. I'll take another one. Oh, these on there. Well, if you're not doing it wrong, you're not learning, so what do we learn from that? More progression, less power. So when I did there, it's the same thing I was doing before. So when I was through, I followed through and I brought the nose, the tail down, which brings. Well, maybe that's not that because of my finger. Maybe I just didn't name very well. Can I try one more time? Arrow's holding up. The super strong insulating tape's doing pretty well. Tip's still in. Maybe that's the super glue as well. But... Ah. It looks like it's more of a flick and less of a throw. And then hide the yard seems to be, well, yeah, that's six yards. That definitely works. Do one more. So it's three in a row. Oh man! Let it that one out. How are we still holding? Oh. Yeah, it's still holding up. It's a bit mucky now, so I think I'm gonna have to clean this thing out. There's really three in a row, and we'll just pretend that one didn't happen. We'll make this three in a row. More of a flick, less of a throw. so soon. As far as proof of concept goes though, I think we can say this is working. Um, and do you know what, I'm having a bit of crack, so it's not too easy that it's, it's no fun, but it's also not too hard that I'm not getting some sort of, oh wow, some sort of result. Yeah, this could work. I was thinking about blow guns, but you know, COVID and sharing mouthpieces and not really a, not really a great idea. This. I don't know if I told you what this is. This is an aklakel. But I'm calling it maklakel because. Right. One more. Ooh. Did I don't know if you can see that, but did fire the tip into here. So I might do a little bit of whittling on that. Stand by. Okay. So I just I did a bit of whittling there. If you can see that, I hope it focuses. I just sharpened the stick down there so it, it's in line with where the tip wanted to be. Uh, I'm gonna try and get three in a row. I think if I can get three in a row, we can call that a success. Um, hopefully, I get it quite soon because it's starting to get dark. I don't know if you can see me. Right. I was just 
the jeep and we'll travel to the forest and we'll have a go at the big target I made in the forest and see if this works. This, this paint roller thing is just something I walked past on the way out of the building. I thought oh, that might work. That's going to be way cheaper just buy a handful of them than it is to craft handles and all that. It might not look as cool. Maybe we Maybe we do spend a bit of time and make some handles. Maybe a wee rest for the arrow. Maybe some better arrows, although this one is holding up. Now with the reinforcements. You can see it there. They're all holding up pretty good now. Um, right, I think what I'll do is I'll turn you off and then I'll turn the camera back on when we get to the forest. So I figured I can drive into the forest, so maybe I'll take a little video of the drive to the forest if I can figure out how to uh, get you to stand without falling off. Oh, maybe I can hang. Oh, hang on, I have to turn you upside down. Well, I'll turn you upside down and then I'll turn the video upside down on the pooter. I feel like this is a bit sketchy, but oh, it is working. Right there. Can you see? Yeah. Right, we'll go with that. Head to the forest. And uh, we'll see if we can get us some uh, prey. Well, imaginary prey anyway. Come in. So, I didn't really explain why we're doing this, so we're, we're developing a new activity, a group of activities, really a combo activity, uh, called the Survivor Challenge. Uh, we're looking at the things that you would need uh, in a survival situation, um, air, water, shelter, fire, food, those sort of things, uh, and how you get those things. So, we don't want to be setting snares, we don't want to do any real, like, ooh, that. Not really sort of real life animal killing. No, we're another van coming. That's probably coming this way. Uh, so we obviously want to do target stuff. Uh, we do axe throwing and archery already as activities. So there's no point putting them into the into the combo. You can do that anyway. So we need something new. Uh, we don't want to use air rifles because they're not really a survivally kind of not really a, a survival -y kind of thing, right? If you were, if you were stranded on that one, you probably wouldn't have an air rifle. But you might be able to make an arrow out of a stick and a handle out of another stick. Um, so the outlet all seemed like a good idea. So now we've just got to try and figure out how to make them and how to teach people to throw them. And you can't teach them how to throw them until you know how to throw them yourself, which is basically what we're doing now. 
I think we're pretty much there. I think these arrows are good enough. Cheap and easy to make. Um, they seem to last. I don't know if they'll last a thousand throws or a couple of hundred throws, I don't know. Um, we can always buy long aluminium arrows if we need to. But for now, I like the woodenness of it. Um, so yeah, we'll go up to the forest and see how it feels throwing them in the forest. If I like my area where I'm going to think of doing it, if we like where uh, where our target range is going to be. Next thing on the list will be think of targets. We can always steal. Sky Park have got two of my axe targets, so they're not using their archery targets at the moment. So if we need to, we could steal, borrow the targets from the other. Uh, the other side, the other archery range, because that's where they've got my axe targets. Um, so we could maybe use them if we need to just paint a picture of a turkey or a what are you, kind of preyer on desert islands, lizard, maybe I don't know, well, some sort of animal anyway, uh, and make that the target. I don't know. But for now, we will uh, we'll just go and throw them in the forest and see how the boys are getting on with the laser combat stuff. Um, I'm going to turn you around so you can enjoy the view. Yeah, so somehow I managed to drop the phone and I think I must have pressed the power button at the same time. Uh, but you're, you're back. You're back. And you're back in the van and you're back pointing where you're supposed to be going so we can uh, carry on up the road. this too. Well, well it's probably not time lapse is it? It's just sped up video. Well, that is a time lapse I suppose. Just don't show all the frames. It's all like YouTube magic that I don't really know about yet. Watch a lot of YouTube, don't make a lot of YouTube. But everyone always says I should. People always say Matt you should make a YouTube channel. Loads of people will watch that. So that's what we're doing today. This is going to be the first, well it might, well if it's not, you won't see it, so it doesn't matter. So this is going to be the first video on the YouTube channel. And uh, I think the channel is just basically going to be me filming the random stuff that I get up to at work and at home. I don't know about home, not much goes on at home that would be interesting for other people to watch. Um, there may be days out and stuff. I don't, know. I don't think there's going to be a regular schedule. I don't think we're going to be uh, putting a video out every day, a week, or a month. Maybe once a month. I don't know. There's no schedule at the moment, anyway. I gotta open this gate. Stay put. Through the gate. Now we're in close the gate, so. Stay put again. Probably edit them bits out, eh? That's the magic of YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha! It's probably going to be too dark for this when we get there. Just means we'll have to try again tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's plan is put up. Three, well, two slack, well, a tightrope, a slack line, and the balance beam. That's the plan for tomorrow. And that's going to be another element of the survivor. That's going to be like escaping danger. You get from one side of the gully to the other. Um, but just to make the competition a bit easier, a bit better, we're going to have three options. So you can do the easy way and get one point, do the medium way and get three points, and do the hard way and get three or something. I haven't really balanced, weighed up the scores yet, but it'll be something like that. That's tomorrow's plan. It's put up three balancey things. I perfected the thing. 
Yeah, man. I'm gonna go over there and throw it. We'll get there in the end. All, I've got all the light I've got now. All three lights. Right. I don't think this target is very good. I think that's the problem. I don't think it's easy to get it to stick in. It's kind of acting like a like an archery net would, and there's obviously the pallet in behind. Yeah. Need a better target. Maybe we'll bring. That's what we'll do. I think tomorrow we'll bring an archery target up here and we'll try it with that. Uh, so I think that's us. I think that's it for today. Everything's holding up. You can see that there. I don't know if you can see. Arrow's still there. Uh, yeah, version two. That's what we needed. Uh, yeah, it looks like version two was good. Uh, oh, yeah, don't get loads of light on me. Uh, version 2 is a good one. We will. I can't see that, but hopefully you can. We will uh, endeavour tomorrow to bring a, that archery target we were playing with. We'll bring one up, we'll stick it here instead of this one, and we'll uh, see how that goes.